Hello and welcome, this is Silver Runs, and today we are going to be completing the companionship cube I made in the last episode. If you want to see that, go to my previous episode, there will be a link in the description and one on the screen for you. Since you have seen that one, today we are going to be making a very simple texture for this. This is just only the, the ambient occlusion map, so overpose on a simple color texture for this. This is all going to be in one simple one only texture so it can be exported into a papercraft printable model. With that said, let's get started. To start, we need to hide everything we are not going to work at. Go into edit mode for the corners or the edges, depending on what you want to start with. It doesn't really matter. I am going to delete everything except one of the corners that make life easier for me. What we are going to do here is make sure that this can be uh, UV unwrapped. unwrapped. For that, we are going to select all these faces, mark a seam, and unmark these ones. Clear seam. After unwrapping, this is what it looks like. Now we are going to want to make the other corners again. To do that. Just use a mirror modifier on the axis. You need to exit edit multiple plane as always. Unwrap it again and there we go. All the corners are cut and for unwrapping. Press Alt H to unhide everything. There we go, hide the corners so we can work on this now. We are going to work on these edges, these corners now, as I once again delete everything we don't need. There we go. Now this once again Alt left click and Alt left click to select it. Mark as E. I'm going to do something here because I know that there's an error here. Those these two corners are not properly merged together. Control E and clear C, unwrap it. There we go. Of course, first to the center, we are going to rotate this around the cursor. Yes, press the period key to make it so that it rotates around the cursor like this. Shift D to duplicate it, left click, place it in the same exact spot. We did by 90. Shift D again, left click, rotate the 180, and we are left with this. Shift D, enter, rotate 180. And now, select these two. Yes, this is fine. Shift D, rotate 190. Oops. Rotate 190, there we go. All of them should now appear right here, should. The exit edit mode, Alt H. We did, did the edges, now the corners, the edges. Now we are going to do this one, find the cube then. This one is easy, just Alt Shift, Alt, let's click, Alt Shift, let's, let's click, and we repeat the same process for all of this. Alt Shift, left click. Mark seams, select everything and wrap, there we go. Shift Alt H, Shift H while the cube is selected, uh, it's everything else. So we are going to actually divide this cube to make my life easier. This should do trick, mark seams, unwrap, oops, where is it doing that? Okay, this is not right. Okay, 
There we go, this is what we got. Alt H to show everything again. Now select everything, you press Ctrl J. And now everything is inside the same mesh. We have this jumble of parts here, just unwrap it again. With everything selected, of course. And we get this. We now are going to create the ambient inclusion map for this. This is going to be a texture that shows the shadows of the objects interacting with each other. Do that. Create a new material. Create a new texture. Pick a new one here. Every single one doesn't matter. Cube. Ambient inclusion. Okay. This is what we are left with. Now we are going to go to the render tab. Bake. Bake ambient inclusion. Press the big button. And we are left with this. This is pretty much just the shadows of the proximity of the object to each other. This is what we want. Save as image. You can say, why can't I save as image? Oh, there you go. Save as image. I already did this before the training. Cube, I'll get the program save. Export the UVs as well. We have the right one here. QV export the UVs. Now, we don't need this anymore. Actually, we are going to use this. We are going to use this same texture. Press T to bring up this menu. Texture paint mode. Face select mode. It didn't recognize this one, but it doesn't matter. Cube. Colors. Everything in white. Be white. There we go. We are going to do it to edit mode. Select one edge of each of the colors. Oh, sorry, one vertex of each corner. Control, Alt, select all the corners. Exit, edit mode. And with the face select paint, we have this. We need to remove all of the collisions for the paint. Darken this and press F to increase the size of the brush. Make sure that the strength is at 100%. Repeat everything. And there we go. Is painted with this color still selected. Go back into edit mode, repeat the process for the edges. Then we know that's what we want. Then we see selected and paint this as well. Are a slight darker color, dark gray color. The center is going to be a much darker one. The art and the stripe is going to be added later on. So let's make the same, say for the circles. Left. There we go, that's done. We are going now to darken this color. Select the face, that face, control, I'll select the entire cube view. And paint it. There. there we go. I believe all the circle that are now perfect. And now I'm going to export this image, save as image, color, save. And that is done for now. Up move to object mode, we still have the ambient inclusion map set. But not a problem, we are going to override this one later. Get GIMP now. This is a free program we can get. Go into out. There you go. Cube colors, this is the colors for the cube. Open the ambient inclusion. Open the UVs 
as well. There we go. This is only one for now. Copy the empty control of the color style. There we go. In geometry functions, yeah, I will go into oops, I forgot something. This is actually outside. Go into mode and select multiply. Now we are going to increase the opacity. We want this to be fine. This is this is the max, this is the max, this is probably a little more. There we go. We are going to come copy the empty commands over as well. The, uh, sorry, the UVs. The UVs are just going to be a uh, guidance for us, nothing more. There we go. We are not actually going to leave the UV here. Leave it again. Get this one down. And now. I'm going to add the, the stripes to the main cube and the art shape to the circles in between. For that, we are going to use the guidelines on here. So select this, full power, there we go. This will be fine. The color, let's just choose some pink here. This is what I want. On this one. I think that's fine. Yeah, that's fine. Decrease the size. I believe the yeah, edge should be fine. Now we are going to click right on the edge, hold shift. You go directly to the other edge. And we are left with that. That's exactly what we need. There, shift, extend it there. Now we have to do that for every single one of these. Wait, I don't think I need that one. Need that. This one. Though. As I said, this is a very simple texture to make, not difficult at all. We are left with this one. Let's export this as file. This is the final texture we are going to use. Yes, let's export. There we go. Back here, we are going to open the final texture. Oops. And this is a preview of what it's going to look like. You still have to do the arts in the middle, as you can see there. Maybe add, add some detail over on the edges of that one. But most important now is making the art shape. Click the UVs again, so let's make that. Let's get a notch. Yeah, let's get one like this, is much easier. Sizes. Oops. Keep the scale on the sides. Well, I'm going here. 
there is making sure that I can distort drag this Much, much more to fit inside the cube. The circle. I think this is enough. Yeah, this is enough. Now let's see if select black and delete it. Perfect. Just like this. Perfect. It even has a little bread on top. It's not part of the design, but I'm going to do it because I'm using So let's copy this, paste it in every single one. We should have six of these to do. And the other two are over here. There we go. All six are done. Tempted to leave the edge here. Oh, I'm going to do something else then. Oh, wait, I don't have that installed. No. Export it to Edmund. Oh, it's not right. I should have actually marked this so I know every one, every two that gives you a small mark this. Make sure this is on. There we go. Save image, back in game. Let's open up the room. There we go. Now, yes, let's mark where the lady to be right there is. Copy this one.
There we go. Everything's fixed now. So uh, we export that one over there. Open up. There we go. Almost everything is fixed except that one. What did I miss? Oh, I missed that one. I have the one where we have the marker, so I don't have that one. I think it's fine. Now let's export this as a OBJ file. And this is pretty much it at this point of it with open this one up. And here we have our finished product. Papercraft of the Kaban GQ fully assembled. If you like what you saw, then consider supporting me at my Patreon at patreon.com forward slash silverox where you can find this project and many others that I've made in the past, as well as be eligible for new ones in the future. Consider subscribing to this channel, comment in the description with any questions you have about this, and I hope you had a good time.